Over the last five decades, the journey of ISKCON has been one of selfless service to society. The ISKCON family has emerged at the forefront of the quest to create a more peaceful, harmonious and compassionate society. ISKCON's journey has been a manifestation of Vasudev Kutumbukam. Integration has been at the core of your philosophy. ISKCON's story has been the story of the determination and devotion of lakhs of devotees spread across the world. Inspired by the teachings of Lord Krishna, they spread his message far and wide. The efforts of the ISKCON family in sectors like education, publishing and disaster relief are commendable. Narendra Modi, 8th August 2016We meet at a very special time, 50 years since His Divine Grace, Srila Prabhupada, founded the International Society for Krishna Consciousness. And what an extraordinary man he was. At the age of 70, he travelled by ship from India to Boston, suffering two heart attacks on the way. He arrived in America alone and penniless, but he created this global mission, travelling the world to spread his message. And look at it today active in a hundred countries with 650 temples, centers, schools and colleges. And here's the best number of all, helping to serve 1.2 million free meals to poor children in India every single day. Let's hear it for those amazing achievements. For decades now, you've been putting your faith into practice beyond this temple. At home, serving free meals to the hungry and needy across London, and far away, helping those in utter desperation after the Nepal earthquake. So I look at what you've done in the last 50 years, and I think how much you can achieve in the next 50. Keep up the fantastic work. Keep telling us how you need to achieve inner peace before we achieve global peace. Keep up the fantastic work. Thank you very much indeed. Jai Shri Krishna. It's impossible to fully describe the innumerable spiritual truths gifted to us by Isi Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. I will attempt to highlight one key profound insight that I find to be so relevant and deeply needed in the world we live in today. Srila Prabhupada established unequivocally that real spiritual understanding or real religion transcends sectarianism, as we've seen so beautifully here tonight. A reporter once asked A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada if he found any conflict in drawing on the Bible, the Quran, the Torah, as well as Vedic scriptures in his teachings. And he replied, no, I don't find any conflict because the ultimate goal is God. So you have to understand God and try to love him. Srila Prabhupada taught us this simple truth, just love God, just love Krishna. When Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared on this planet 500 years ago and inaugurated this process of hearing and chanting the names of God, he didn't come to establish a new religion. He came to teach everyone that we can completely transcend sectarianism and achieve the perfection of religion simply by hearing and chanting the names of God in a humble state of mind. Srila Prabhupada doesn't say that there is a Christian God, a Hindu God, and a Muslim God. He doesn't say that we should call God Krishna and not Allah. God is one. He has many names which are based on his different qualities and different pastimes. We must realize and act on this fact if we want to transcend the fear and hatred that is rooted in sectarianism. Jai Shri Krishna. Srila Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada ki jai. And I would walk the seven miles across town every Sunday night to get one good meal a week at the Hare Krishna temple. I loved it. 
And much of what I stumbled into by following my curiosity and intuition turned out to be priceless later on. If anyone has noticed the progress of the Ishkan movement, he will simply be struck by the enormity of velocity with which the movement caught up. The founder, Acharya, of this movement, Srila Prabhupada Ji, he started this movement at his mature age. Born in 1896, he established his school in New York in 1966. During his lifetime, he contributed tremendously in spreading this culture, eternal message of humanity, which is the blessings, which is the teachings of Bhagavad Gita, Srimad Bhagavad, teachings of Gaudiya Vaishnav Sampradaya. Message of Indian civilization is love, compassion, piety, sacrifice, renunciation. Krishna, Adi Bhai!